going bad. The fun's just started. Hello, Kate. Run the place. Small world, huh? Yes. Excuse me. You're looking great. Hey, look at those two. I'm not 18. I must be here with the parents. And then he keeps standing here all day. Lex, I'm Carl Canizario. This is my wife, Mary. Oh, Gilbert Anthony Page from Yorkshire, England. Yo, it's a pleasure, Gil. Huh. Uncle Gilbert, pay attention. The line is moving. I, I beg your pardon. You know, I don't think we brought enough lotion for your skin. They say that the sun heals the devil. You're babbling about your way, dear. Well, I'm afraid my uncle is having one of his turns. You know, it's the son and his age. For kids where he is, who he is. Uncle Gilbert, his niece, Simone. Please, would you leave go of my chin? Please, tell them you are my uncle. I don't even know your name. Look, I'm not getting involved in any little deception for some girl that I've never laid eyes on. <clears throat> OK. It's all right. I'm tired of living anyway. What did you say? Well, in every other respect, Jean-Michel is a very good husband to me. Your husband? It's only when he drinks that he hits me so. Your husband hits you? Mm. And his hands, they are so big and so strong. I have black and blue marks all over my body. Look, I show you. Oh, no, no, no. It's quite all right. I'll take your word for it. What's your name? Simon. Simon Lafontaine. Oh, Simon. Haven't you been to the police about all this? Well, yes. Well, what did they do? Well, what can they do? Jean-Michel is the chief of the police. Oh, Uncle Gilbert, there's nothing I can do. Miss Fontaine, I see you're only 17. You have to be accompanied by an adult... Uh, she's with me. She's my niece. On my daughter's side. Thanks, Uncle Gilbert. Mind you, I'm only doing this as a favor. Oh, I'm not taking any responsibility for you. I know. Thanks. I want a sweet. Hey, my man. Where's all the action around this place anyway? <laughs> hey, Killer, why don't you just pace yourself? You're going to be here for a whole week, my man. Hi, welcome back. Hey, how you guys doing? Welcome to the club, man. Yeah. Yeah. Take you to your room. Yeah. I'll put you in bungalow 167. You go down there, I'll have a Geo bring your bags down later, all right? Okay. Enjoy yourself. How's everything going, Gypsy? Oh, it's the biggest cut of the season so far. It's good. Make sure everybody gets a drink, OK? You got it. All right, I'm going to put you in bungalow 143 to take these two tags, and a Geo will bring your bags down later. Look, Danny, first thing you have to do is to get rid of Why don't you uh, shed some of those clothes? We wear very little down here. So how was your trip? Does it matter? You like music? Yeah, it's too bad I didn't bring any down with me. Look, Danny, I'm really sorry about your father. You know he's a good friend of mine. Yeah, I remember. My mother said to make sure that you got this. What is it? Brief history of all my transgressions. Uh -huh. Against her or the state of Alaska? You name it. Look, this is between you and the juvenile courts. The only thing I care about is the kind of work you do for me. So what can you do? I can do anything. Ski, climb, run a kayak. I can fly a bush plane. And women are crazy about me. 
Yeah, well, I hate to tell you, we don't have any snow, we don't have any rapids, and uh, as far as the women go, let's put that on hold for right now. You're going to have your hands plenty full learning to be a G.O. A what? G.O. That's what all club med staffers are called. That's real radical. Real radical. Look, Kate, listen to me. Kate, come on, would I do something like that to you? I swear. Last I heard, O'Shea was in Juneau, Alaska. Well, then what is this? Coincidence? Yeah, it does happen. That's why there's a word for it. <sighs> so what are you going to do? I don't know. I can't avoid him for a whole week. You know, maybe you shouldn't avoid him at all. Al, do me a favor. Don't give me any more advice. Please. Hi, guy. How you doing? Oh. This is my bed here, huh? I had no idea we were sharing. Uh, I'm Gilbert Page from Yorkshire, England. Yeah, right. Uh, Bart Chambers, Motown. What do we got here? That's a mosquito net. Thank you. <laughs> All right, uh, here's the plan. One of us gets a lady in the room, they takes a towel, they put it around the doorknob. You got it? Thank you, Bob. I'll explain later. Aren't you going to go to the welcoming party? No. Well, won't you get hungry? Mm, I don't know. I'll worry about that later. Is there something wrong? How old are you? 18. I'm 27. At 27, you can understand 18. At 18, you can understand 27. Oh. I'm sorry. Look, chances are I'm not going to be the cheeriest roommate in camp, but don't let that ruin your vacation. OK. Listen, you know, if you want, I can bring you something back. It is no problem. That would be nice. Thank you. OK. Ciao. Ciao. Hello. Welcome to Ixtapa. Welcome to Club Med Paradise. My name is O'Shea. I am the chef du village, your chief of the village. And all of these beautiful people standing behind me are your GO team. So to get things started right away, I'm going to turn everything over to my chief of entertainment, the man who you will come to know as Sinbad. All right. Thank you, Mr. Seth. All right. First of all, I'd like to say, prepare yourself for a week of having the most fun you ever had in your lifetime. Also, prepare yourself for falling in love, because everyone who comes here to Club Med does fall in love. You'll either fall in love with our sun, our ocean, our beaches, or some of you will fall in love with one another, because it has happened before at some of our Club Meds. We don't want you to feel any pressure because here, time is on your side because there is no such thing as time, just having fun. And if you have anything, any problems, anything that you want to do, just talk to one of the GO staff because we want you to do everything and anything you've ever wanted to do. So on behalf hey, of the Club Med staff, I'd like to say, welcome to Paradise. All right, that's five beads. Beads. What are we, pilgrims now? What's the next form of currency I accept you? Trinkets and little bits of colored glass? You know, people tip me with these things. With beads. What am I gonna do with that? Beads. Am I gonna take a girl out on beads? Hey, honey, you'll be glad when civilization collapses. I got all the beads right here. You guys speak English? Who am I talking to? Him? 